Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another game review, and for today's review, I'm going to be talking about Hi-Fi Rush, a rhythm-based action game with platform elements. This is the latest game from Tango Gameworks, the same studio behind Evil Within and most recently, Ghostwire Tokyo. This was a game that came out of nowhere, like it was literally announced and just like that, it was released. Also, before I continue on, the footage that you'll be seeing in this review was captured on an Xbox Series X. It was a curveball and man, let me tell you all, it was a curveball that I'm really happy I caught. I had such a great time with Hi-Fi Rush. Getting into the plot, in Hi-Fi Rush, we play as a character named Chai, a self-proclaimed rock star whose music player is accidentally embedded in his chest during an experimental cybernetic surgery, allowing him to sense the rhythm of the world. Labeled a defect and hunted by the corporation that transformed him, Chai bands together with new friends to defeat the company's executives and put a stop to their plans. Starting off by getting into everything I liked, I want to get into how cool this game looks first, because this game has such a gorgeous art style. It feels like you're playing a game that came straight out of a comic book. This game has such a cool color palette with colors that pop, and one thing in particular is how this game seamlessly switches frames between cutscenes and gameplay. In cutscenes, this game has a 24 frames per second style, and then it seamlessly goes and the 60 frames per second when the action kicks in. It gives this mission start feel, and especially when a particular song kicks in, it only makes the transitions that much cooler. Not only do the environments look really cool, although I will have more to say on that later, but the character designs, robot designs, and even Chai's main weapon have such cool looks. There is that word again, but that's generally the best word to describe the art direction. It's just such a cool looking game. On to another aspect I liked, and that's the characters. Hi-Fi Rush is full of characters that aren't only charming, but the characters have so much personality. Whether it's Chai, who's obsessed with becoming a rock star, Peppermint that definitely has secrets, Cinnamon, Corsica, and the villains. The villains and Hi-Fi Rush are such a joy to watch. In particular for me, the second and the fourth villain, they were easily my favorites and my favorite villains to fight as well. Chai definitely seems a little full of himself at first given his personality, but he will absolutely grow on you very, very soon after you play the game. But going on to my favorite aspect of the game, the combat. Like I had mentioned earlier, Hi-Fi Rush is an action game with rhythm elements. The cool thing about the rhythm element is that everything, and I mean everything in the game, moves to the beat of the music. Whether it's Chai, the enemies, and even down to some of the environments themselves. And the environmental part was something I didn't even notice until close to the halfway point of the game. Once again crediting the fantastic art direction here, but getting back onto the combat though. The combat goes down to every beat of music. Now, you can melee enemies while off beat, yes, but, if you attack enemies on beat and perform combos on beat, you not only deal much higher damage, but you gain a much higher score at the end, as they call in the game, versus. Even better if you perform dodges, parries, and even calling in friends on rhythm. It all comes together in a literal symphony of combos, and when performed perfectly, it is more than satisfying. Also doing Chai's ultimate attacks or when an enemy challenges you before its demise, it is a blast. One thing I appreciated, and this is something I'll go over briefly, and that's a story and how quickly it gets things going. After a pretty cool opening with a great song choice by the way, you're thrust immediately into a fun and charming adventure and it's one full of so much personality and excitement. One more thing I gotta talk about, and that's the music. Remember how I mentioned earlier how Hi-Fi Rush is a rhythm-based game? The game includes a pretty kick-ass soundtrack. Not only is the original music pretty great, but the game also features artists such as Nine Inch Nails, The Black Keys, and even 
the prodigy. There was a specific part that involves the prodigy and man, once it hit, I was so laser focused, it's not even funny. There's even an awesome remix of a classic song used for a boss and it's perfectly used. Now it's time to talk about my issues. Starting off is something that I found to be kind of odd when it comes to the combat. So in any other action game with melee, you'd expect a parry function to be basically included from the start, right? Well, not in the case of Hi-Fi Rush, unfortunately. For some reason, you don't get access to this function till a little bit into the game. I found it interesting that such a basic combat function was able to be accessed immediately. Something else I wasn't too fond of at times was the platforming element. Especially when you're trying to time everything to the beat, it can be a pain in the ass. Even more so when you're on a time limit in certain sections. Now another thing I will say is that even though the game looks absolutely terrific, not that the levels aren't cool to look at because they absolutely are, but you'll notice that you go through the same kind of structure with pretty little change. This last thing is more of an annoyance sometimes, and that's the camera in combat. Sometimes the camera can get in the way of what you want to do, and because of it, you will get damaged quite a bit. It doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, it can be quite annoying. So overall, Hi-Fi Rush is one of those games that comes out of nowhere and surprises you. It's a charming, fun, exciting, and a rockin' good time that I can't wait to jump back into, issues aside. All in all, I'm going to give Hi-Fi Rush an 8.5 out of 10. This game is on Game Pass, so if you have a PC or a Series X or Series S, download it right now. It's that good so comment down below and let me know have you guys played hi-fi rush would you all think of it let me know below if you guys want to follow me on social media i'm on facebook twitter instagram and i'm also on twitch so if you guys want to follow me on all those social media platforms all the links in your names in the description below that's gonna wrap it up for my review of hi-fi rush i hope you all enjoyed it if so please hit that like button also subscribe and don't forget that notification bell for the latest review goes live. If you guys want to see in my previous two videos, please click up to the left or right side of the screen. And of course, until my next review or video goes live, I will see you all next time. Oh, this is entertaining. Let's raise the stakes and turn down the lights.